Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to bring in an image sequence for stop motion into Premiere Pro. Um, so we're going to create a new project first of all and give the title project. I'll just do stop motion. Click OK. And it doesn't really matter which setting you use here because we're going to change it after anyways, but I'm, I'm going to use a DSLR uh, 24 frames. So my, I got a sequence here. Now, this doesn't matter too much for now because what we're going to do is bring in our images. Um, so right click, import, and find your image files. Uh, I have 48 TIFFs I want to import here. So click on the first one of your, your TIFFs and make sure in that folder is just the images you want to import, not, nothing else. So I'll click on the first one, click on image sequence and import, and that'll bring it in as a video file. So this is a, some footage here. Now it's, it's interpreted wrong, uh, the wrong frame rate and, and everything like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on it, uh, go to modify, and we're going to interpret the footage a little differently than uh, Premiere Pro interpreted. You can see that it says use a frame rate of 29.97, which is not the one I want. Uh, you can see the duration's a second if I use that. I, I shot this footage to be um, around three seconds long at 12 frames a second. So uh, I'm going to bring that frame rate to 12, and you can see my duration's brought to around where I, where I wanted it. Uh, don't worry too much about the aspect ratio here. It should be one to one, because uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of modifying afterwards. So I'm just going to click OK. So let's change the, the file rate of um, this footage here. So we can just take this footage and drag it into the, a new image sequence. That's this button here. Uh, don't worry about this stuff, just do OK. And you can see that I have my footage here now. So I'll do it to fit. Now the problem here, actually, we'll don't do it to fit, we'll do 25%, is that my, my photo, of course, is a lot bigger than my um, pixel size for, for this uh, footage here. So I'm just going to click on it, go to my effects control, and open up motion and just scale it down so that it fits in my window. So there we go. So let's make this a little longer. So if I scrub through this now I have my laptop opening and spinning around for three seconds and stopping. And that's exactly what I wanted. So now that that's done, uh, basically, I'm going to just export it. So export media. And choose the proper frame rate that you want. Uh, I like to use uh, ProRes. Since this is going to be for um, sort of a high quality um, shot here. And just give it, so I'll just do... Uh, Twirling laptop and into my outputs. I'm going to save that. Uh, you can check your other settings here. It's going to be full HD at uh, 1920 by 1080. And that's it. So I'm going to queue that up and export that. It's not going to take very long. So if I go to my outputs and I'll find my twirling laptop, there we go, three seconds of a twirling laptop from my uh, stop motion. So that's the end of the tutorial, uh, hope I found it useful. I'm going to do a second one here in After Effects just to show you the difference between the two. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to do the same thing in uh, After Effects CS6. Um, so you come to your, you know, your project window. Make sure you're on your project over here. You're going to right click and import uh, multiple files. Now you go find your folder that you have your, I, I, I work in TIFFs, so 
you may work in JPEG. So when I click the first one in my, my folder here, I have this sort of window here, but you may have something different. So a TIFF sequence, I'm going to open that. And interpret footage, uh, just straight, unmatted is fine. Um, it opens up a second window. I usually just cancel that second window. I don't really need it. Uh, so we have the interpreted footage uh, brought in over here, my TIFF sequence. Um, now, again, it's going to be the wrong uh, frame rate. It's 30 frames a second. So if you click down here, this is actually the interpret footage option. Uh, make sure you have that your images selected. And I'm just going to bring that frame rate down to, to 12 and click OK. And uh, drag this to my composition and we'll just push play. The first time it's a bit slow but uh, the duration is uh, three seconds again in the end. It usually speeds up after it's gone through one sequence because this is a large image so about you know 5,000 pixels by something so there we go. So there's my three second uh, laptop uh, spinning around in After Effects. We'll just uh, export that footage now. There we go, composition, Export, add to render queue, uh, settings, let's see, well, animation, I just like 422LT, light, setting, quality, okay, uh, okay, actually I didn't check my size, it might actually come out as uh, 5,000 pixels, but we'll see, render. We'll just pause this while it's rendering. Just uh, just finished rendering, and what did I name that? Okay, here it is. So I'll take a look. Should be three seconds long. I think I have it at uh, like five thousand pixels by something. So this is like five K or something. Uh, so that's fine. But anyway, it works. Um, it's a bit slow on my computer. It does, I can't play back 5K size uh, videos, but uh, of course you'd bring this down in your settings here to render out a, a lot smaller uh, to like uh, 1080p uh, or something like that. I'm just going to go back and render that in the proper size. So, uh, okay, we're going to do the export, add to render queue. So settings, lossless, uh, QuickTime, do do do, Apple ProRes LT, uh, okay. Ah, oh, here it is, resize. So it's at uh, 5,000 pixels. Yeah, it's, it's like 5K. So we're going to uh, resize it down to uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, oh, it's just slightly off, so I'll just unlock that and just change that to 80. And that should be better. It's more HD, full HD, as opposed to uh, a 5K file. And that should render a lot faster as well. And there we go. That's done. Uh, and take a look at it. Should play back a little faster on the computer now. There we go. So three second spin of the, the computer. So there you go. Uh, there's a image sequence in uh, Premiere Pro and bring an image sequence in for After Effects. Take care. Bye.